video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of order of a matrix. We know what do you mean by a matrix? What is the order of matrix? What is the concept behind the number of rows, the number of columns? And now in this video, we have a numerical problem on the same. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started. The question says determine the possible orders determine the possible orders this word is important of a matrix of a matrix with the number of elements given as in the first part I have 12 elements in the second part I have 5 elements that means what I know a basic thing I know a basic thing that what is order order is nothing but m by n where m is what it is number of rows where n is what it is number of columns do i know that yes i do now number of rows number of columns when product then multiplied will give me the order and hence the number of elements remember suppose the order is m by n now m by n means what it is m into n that is m n so it means it has mn elements. This is the basic story behind the relationship between order of a matrix and number of elements. This we already know there is nothing new in it. Now let's move back to the question. The question has two parts. First part is 12 elements. Second is 5. We'll see it later. 12 elements mean what? Write it here. I have the value of mn is equal to 12. Right? Elements elements are mn elements are mn which is 12 now how can you find the factors of 12 i know 12 is what 12 is 1 into 12 what about the other way around 2 into 6 can also be 12 3 3 has 3 into 4 as 12 so i am basically starting with the counting see First I started with 1, what about 1 into 12 will give me 12. Then what is the number next to 1? It is 2. 2 is a divisible or is 12 divisible by 2? Does 2 divide 12? Yes it does. So 2 6 are 12. Does 3 divide 12? Yes 3 4 are 12. Out of 1 2 3 all these have come. Now what is the number next to 3? It is 4. 4 divides 12? Yes. So it is 4, 3's are 12, 4 by 3, 5, there's the next number, 5 divides 12, no. What about 6, 6 divides 12, yes, it is 6, 2's are 12, so it is 6 into 2, 12, where I have 6 here. Does 7 divide 12, no, does 8 divide 12, no, I mean I have to see the number which completely divides it. 9 divides 12, no, completely, no, because it is a remainder left. 10 divides 12, no. 11 by 12, no. What about 12 divides 12? Yes. So it is 12 ones are 12. Wherein I have 12. So that means what are the number of possible orders? They are namely how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 possible orders for a matrix with 12 elements. So the answer is how many possible orders it is 6 so numerically you have found out that 6 possible orders exist what about representation wise let's draw the matrix according to these possible orders 1 by 12 means what 1 by 12 means I would be having a matrix with how many rows how many columns let's see 1 by 12 means 1 row and 12 columns so this is say only one row but 12 columns this is 1 by 12 right so this is only one row r1 but there are c1 c2 till c12 columns so this is 1 by 12 what about 2 by 6 2 by 6 means two rows six columns so it is two rows and six columns so it is r1 r2 as two rows c1 c2 till c6 as six columns so that is 2 by 6. Got it? Next is what? 3 by 4. 3 by 4 means what? 3 rows and 4 columns. So it is 3 rows and 4 columns. 
so it is r1 r2 r3 and c1 c2 c3 c4 which is 3 by 4 so are you getting what this question signifies this question tells me that if number of elements are given to me as 12 or 8 or 5 then there can be more than one possible order not only 12 into 1 and 1 into 12 but many possible orders exist and that is why I know the relation m into n means mn elements so if elements are given I can actually make many factors out of it this is about the first part 12 elements what about the second part the second part is part number b with how many elements let's read it five elements so it is five elements now had i taken a number say four say eight say twelve twelve you have already taken i know that twelve is not a prime number it is non-prime or it is a composite number right so there are many possible factors to be same but here what is the number of elements five that means mn is equal to 5 and 5 is a prime number. What is a prime number? Which has only two factors, one and itself, right? So when mn is equal to 5, which is a prime number, so how many factors? Only two, one and itself, right? Two factors, so it is either 1 into 5 as the first order or 5 into 1 as the second order. So that means only two orders 1 into 5 and 5 into 1 1 into 5 is what and 5 is to 1 is 5 into 1 is what 5 into 1 would be 5 rows 1 column see it is r1 r2 r3 till r5 and only one column c1 but what about 1 into 5 1 into 5 would be one row and five columns so it would be one row and 5 columns 1 into 5 1 row and 5 columns let's draw it more clearly more beautifully some people still might be getting confused I'm basically telling you 5 into 1 is here 1 into 5 is here 1 row and 5 columns so this is 1 row R1 C1 till C5 so in this video we saw two examples but we understood one very important and big thing that if you have number of elements as composite remember 12 was what kind of a number it was composite so there is always more than two possible orders but when you have a prime number as the number of elements then only two possible orders exist the number one and the number itself these will make the possible orders so this video was dedicated to numerical on order in the next video also we'll be studying another variety we'll be seeing another problem based on order